a district court judge put an injunction on federal funding for embryonic stem cell research. Based on an interpretation of the Dickey Wicker writer that not even Bush-supported Congress will soon make this a moot issue. When they pass legislation to expand funding this time, Bush cannot veto it. I think embryonic stem cell research is wrong because it kills babies. Oh no, here we go. The cells in question are removed from a collection of cells that are going to be destroyed anyway. There is no baby and no possibility of one. They are the product of in vitro fertilization. True. So what about the snowflake babies? And what about the possibility of tissue farms mass producing embryos for laboratories? First, the entire number of adopted frozen embryos is less than 1% of the number of embryos created for in vitro fertilization. Second, there are hundreds of thousands of embryos currently frozen, so the research demand would never be enough to support your paranoid scenario. But it kills babies. Not true actually, the embryos are merely eight cells called a blastocyst and the blastocysts will be destroyed anyway so, why not use them to help save actual living people? Adult stem cells are used to treat many diseases and embryonic stem cells aren't used for anything. Adult stem cells have been studied for 40 years and are only currently used to treat leukemia with bone marrow transplant. Although there are many trials ongoing, human embryonic stem cells were first isolated in 1998. Trials with them are now ongoing. But embryonic stem cells only form tumors. Only if you implant them without first inducing differentiation into the desired tissue type. All current trials have undergone extensive animal testing showing that the current methods don't produce tumors. This is very carefully scrutinized by the FDA. Stem cells can now be made from skin cells so there is no more need for embryonic stem cells. Induced pluripotent stem cells, they are an important discovery and a good tool for laboratory research. However, the methods used to create them use viruses to transport the reprogramming genes leaving viral material in the cell or use cancer-causing genes and don't replicate very efficiently. They also have memories of their original tissue type. These reasons make them currently unsuitable for clinical use. There are existing embryonic stem cell lines so making new lines is unnecessary. Not true, the existing lines were generated using obsolete technology, some suffer contamination, and are old, stem cells are not really immortal, and after enough replication can produce errors which render them unusable. It is also necessary to have a wide genetic variety to avoid problems with implant tissue rejection. Adult stem cells don't have rejection issues. Only if they are autologous, meaning they have to come from your own body and there is still no way to change adult stem cells into any arbitrary organ cell type. But the Pope says embryonic stem cell research is wrong. I'm not Catholic, so I don't care. I won't use any embryonic stem cell treatment. That is your right to refuse medical assistance, but you don't have the right to make that choice for others. <laughs>